if you guys want one of these, link in description. Right guys, you know those Philips Ambilight TVs with the RGB backlighting that changes colour to match what's being displayed on the screen? Well Govi have just made an LED kit which enables your ordinary TV to do basically the exact same thing. So in the box you get a roll of LEDs. Now it's important to mention here that it's actually in four different sections to cover the four sides of the TV. So between each section there's a piece of cable to make the going around corners part of the installation much easier. The strips do of course have 3M tape on the back of them as well. Here we have the controller box. Now this also comes with 3M tape on the back so you can stick it behind your TV. And on the front we have buttons for turning the strips on and off, changing colours and adjusting brightness. Although most of the special features of this kit require them to be connected to the Govi app. This is the power supply. I've got to use a US to UK converter to review these as they're only available in the US at the moment, I believe. But check the links in the description. I'll keep them updated for you guys. You get two packs of these LED strip holders to make sure your strips don't fall down after you've installed them. We have a camera that you'll need to attach to the top or bottom of your TV. It's a 1080p camera and it does come with pre-installed 3M tape so you can stick it securely in place. Oh, and finally, we also get some interesting looking foam pads to help with camera setup and calibration. So Josh, what's with the camera? Well, that's how it detects what's being displayed on the screen so that it can make the strips display the same color, which I know might be a deal breaker for some. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but honestly, I think the end result is worth it. I'll show you guys what the setup is like before sticking them to the back of the TV. So basically the LED strips plug into the USB type C port on the controller. The camera plugs into the USB type A port. Just connect the power supply and you're good to go. Moving on to installation of the strips. Now this kit is designed for 55 to 65 inch TVs. I'm using these strips on a 55 inch. So they're basically the perfect length for each of the four sides. And no, unfortunately you cannot cut these particular strips otherwise the effect won't work properly. Now, although the 3M adhesive on these strips is rather strong, bear in mind back of TVs can get warm and in some cases loosen the adhesive over time, which is why we're going to also use the included strip holders just to keep things in place and prevent the weight of the strip from pulling itself down, particularly near the corners. Now we are left with these extra sections of wire at each of the corners, which we're going to deal with now. So I'm using these zip tie mounts. I'll link them in the description if you guys want to check them out. They're super handy for cable management. But yeah, I'm just going to tie down each of these cables to get everything looking nice and neat. Also around the back, we just need to find a place to stick our controller box and then plug everything into it. So we've got the LED strips to the USB-C socket, power supply to the round socket, and finally the camera to the USB type A. Speaking of the camera, I'm going to stick mine on the top of the TV using the pre-installed 3M tape. The cable on this thing is around 90 centimeters long, so you shouldn't run into any issues on that side of things. We also need to stick these orange foam pads onto the indicated areas of the screen to help us calibrate the camera during setup. So like I said, the controller does have a few buttons on it to enable basic control of the strips, but for full functionality, we'll need to download the Govi app. Once you've got it installed, open up the app. Click the plus symbol in the top right, scroll all the way down to the bottom and select the Immersion TV Strip Light. You can name it here if you want. Now the default connection here is Bluetooth, but you can hook it up to your Wi-Fi network as well to enable Google Home and Amazon Echo Control. Next we're going to calibrate the camera. So first of all you need to tell the app whereabouts you've positioned the camera and also the direction of the strips. Once you've done that, a preview of what the camera is seeing will appear on the screen. All we have to do is just drag and line up each of these points with the orange foam pads that we stuck onto the screen earlier. There's two stages to it. First is the corners, so let's get them all lined up. And second, the midpoints between the corners. It's a fairly straightforward process. It shouldn't take more than a minute or so. Once that's done, we're all ready to go. Now at this point, I will mention that besides the color sense technology, these strips function pretty much exactly the same as Govi's regular RGB IC strips, which means you can set colors manually in the app in addition to segment control. That means you can have rainbow effects and customize each individual section of the strip to be whatever color you want. You can choose from a bunch of animated effects in the scenes mode. You can create your own in the DIY section or even check out other people's creations in the Govi Light Studio section of the app. If you guys want to see that more in depth, click the link in the top right of the screen where you can watch my review on the regular RGB IC LED strip kit. For this review, however, I'm going to be focusing on the main feature of this product, which is the color sense technology, since that's what really sets this kit apart from others. So to enable this, you'll need to have the video section of the app selected. And that's about it. It'll take the information from the camera and make the LED colors match whatever's being displayed on the screen. 
You do have a couple of options here. There's a brightness control, which you can set to your liking. And below this, you can see we can adjust the saturation level in addition to a game and movie mode. You can also choose whether you want the LED strips to adjust each part of the strip to match colors on that part of the screen or all of the strip, which will just make a best guess as to what overall color suits any given scene. Now, as regards the actual effect, I'm gonna let it speak for itself by showing you guys a range of different content. I'll throw in some relaxing background music as well for good measure. Enjoy the light show. Alright, so I think the resultant effect is pretty damn good to be honest, there's barely any latency at all, you could see during that rainbow clip that it's pretty much always keeping up with what's on the screen, and the colours are accurate too, at least for most of the scenes I threw it at during testing, I mean you guys could see for yourself. Now you do have to make sure that the room you're using them in is fairly dark, otherwise you'll confuse the camera, particularly if you've got other RGB going on, I'd recommend you try and get the room as dark as possible to really get the best effect out of this thing. I think the way Govi have implemented this feature is really well done and for people that want a Philips Ambilight experience without having to limit themselves to purchasing an Ambilight TV, it's a very tempting option. Is it as good as Ambilight? I would say nearly from what I've seen Ambilight does seem to deal slightly better with knowing what to do with darker scenes and I think they do blend the colours a little better too. But I mean this kit is $70 and you can literally upgrade any TV with it. Is the Color Sense feature something I would use every day? Probably not. For movies though and couch gaming, absolutely. It does add an extra layer of immersion in that respect. And at the end of it all, you've still got all the awesome features of Govi's RGBIC strips, which let you blend all sorts of colors together. So yeah, it's very easy to recommend this kit. I feel like Govi are kind of changing the game in the LED lighting industry. They've really looked at existing products and looked for ways to make them better and cheaper. In fact, next month I've got another product to show you from Govi that I'm very excited about. I think you guys will like it. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you want to check this kit out, I have a link down below in the description. By the way, let me know what you guys think to it in the comments. Do you think you would buy this kit? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating would be much appreciated. And of course, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. We just hit 70,000 subscribers. We're nearly there. I can almost smell that 100,000 subscriber play button. You can catch me on Instagram and Twitter at TechTestRack for all the behind the scenes stuff. But with that being said, hope you guys have an awesome week. I'll catch you all in the next one.